So we're just walking across this big grass plain at the moment, heading to a place which I know holds big yabbies. Take a look at this big fella over here. And that is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Already big one right there. That's not bad at all, mate. Look at that. <laughs> Mate. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So we are back out in the outback again today. We just drove 13 hours out to this place and this is where we're going to be staying for the next week. We're going to be living off the land, catching my own food. In a few days we're going to be heading to the edge of the Simpson Desert where we're going to be looking for the most venomous snake in the world, the inland taipan. But the reason why I've come out to this place for the next couple days is I know that there's a lot of food out here that you can catch if you go looking for it. In particular giant red claw crayfish. A couple months ago my mate and I came out here for a couple weeks trying to catch these crayfish and we ended up getting a heap of big ones with our hands. So that's exactly what we're trying to do today. I know a creek a couple k's from here that has big crayfish in it so we're going to start walking there now see what animals we can find and hopefully catch some big crayfish that we can cook up on the fire. Back out here in the outback mate stay tuned for some epic episodes coming up. Take a look at this big fella over here. That right there is a species I've been wanting to find for the past three years. And that is one of the most venomous snakes in the world, the death adder. We got one, mate. So I think it's so cool that people devote their lives to going out and searching for animals. And this for me is the pinnacle for that because this is an animal I've been searching for for years and I finally found one out here in the wild. Look at him go. What an awesome little snake. Now you can see, they're not a very big snake, not a very big snake at all, but they don't need to be. This species ranges from the seventh to the ninth most venomous snake in the world. And although he may look small, for their size, they have some of the longest fangs in the snake kingdom. Hey mate, you coming over to me. You're all right. So these snakes are masters at camouflaging and they know it as well and they not only use this to hide from predators to hide from things that are trying to eat them but also for hunting now if you look down at their tail they've got what looks like a little worm like thing and they'll actually wriggle it just like this back and forth and wait for a lizard for a rat anything that wants to eat that little worm like tail and as soon as that animal gets in too close whack they'll strike out with one of the most toxic venoms in the snake kingdom. And yeah, just spending this awesome moment with this little death adder right here. Look, crawling right up to the camera. All right, I think that's it, mate. I've been chilling with this guy for so long, he's just crawling around, but we need to let him go. Thank you so much. So you can see what she's doing right now is exactly what these death adders do. And you would walk past a lot of these snakes without even realizing they're there under a little bunch of leaves. So over the past three years looking for death adders, I've always imagined finding one and all the facts I'd say about them, how I'd present it on camera. But that moment right there of finding that little death adder, that is all I want. I do not care about trying to get the best shots of this little fella. That was awesome. That was epic. And mate, we got a whole road trip ahead of us. We're gonna keep going, heading out west even further and maybe see if we can find some yabbies that we can catch and cook up later. Death at mate, how good. So the outback houses arguably the toughest animals here in Australia because there's not a lot of food, there's not a lot of water out here. And one of my favorite ways to actually find these animals is go to a water source and search around it. This is where the animals will be. We actually spooked a bunch of emus just down to the bigger paddock. I'm gonna go for a walk there, tell you what my plans are for the next couple weeks and hopefully see those emus. So we're just walking 
across this big grass plain at the moment, heading to a place which I know holds big yabbies. I reckon we head down to that creek and try to catch some big yabbies with our hands. So we've just made it down to the creek, which I know has big crayfish in it. And I'm just looking around the shallows. I've seen a couple little ones, but what we're looking for is the really big ones, like the one that I caught last time I was out here. If we could get about six of them, that'd be so good. Let's actually get in there and see if we can spot any. Big red claw crayfish. Already big one right there. He's a big fella. I'll see if there's any others before I spook him. You can see him just moving down there. That's exactly what we're looking for. There we go. Look at that. That is what we want. Big red claw crayfish in the outback. There must be so many more in this pool right here. I might just chuck him in this little pool. You can stay in there. Yes, look at that. So we got the big fella chilling in there and you can see these holes in the mud that's how I know that there's crayfish in here. That's where they're living. Right there. Do you see that? That's another one. He's not as big, but we'll still, we'll still grab him. There we go. Look at that. Another one. <laughs> yes, that is so good in this little creek. The outback always provides, mate. Look at that. All right, you're trying to escape. I'll put you in there, you can play. Big fella, sitting just down here. Oh, missed him. There we go. Take a look at that. Massive red claw crayfish. Add him to my collection. Look at that. That's not bad at all, mate. You guys stay here. Don't think they can get in those holes, so I think we might be all right. See him? He's not that big, but Grab them anyway. That's crazy. There's so many in this little pool. You know what, mate? We'll let you go. See you later. <laughs> look, it's a little fella. Take a look at him. You're way too small to eat, mate. <gasps> Big one. <laughs> this creek is crazy. Look at that. That's probably the biggest one of the day, honestly. And just like that, we got him. <laughs> oh, I just splashed the camera. And there's another one. This is in a different pool. Going down to the deeper part. There we go. Look at that. I don't even know what to say anymore. We got so many. So we've let a few of them go. We've only got the biggest ones left. But look at that. A bunch of really nice sized red claw crayfish. And this is gonna be my dinner right here. There'd be so many more I could catch in this creek, which is good to know if I come back here and decide to film a survival video. But mate, take a look at that. <laughs> They're like my pets crawling around with me. Now in last week's video, you saw me go out to the mangroves real quick and catch a heap of mud crabs out there. It'll be interesting to see the difference between them compared to the crayfish. I'll show you a clip of some mud crabs that I caught last week. So we're just creeping up on this huge mud crab right here. All right, I'm gonna get around the back. That is one of the biggest mud crabs I have ever caught. You gotta make sure that he doesn't get me. You wouldn't wanna get tagged by one of those big claws. Take a look at that, mate. Big Aussie mud crab out here in the mangroves. Look at the size of that claw. That is awesome. We saw a mud crab shoot down this one. All right, got him. <laughs> yes. Look at that right there. That was the mud crab sitting down that hole. And we did it in one take. Look at, he's trying to go back into it. You're not getting back down there, mate. <laughs> take a look at that. Second mud crab out here in the mangroves. How good is that? We got a big feed for lunch. Well, yeah. <laughs> These guys are funny. 
Not a bad dinner that I'm gonna cook up tonight. Make a fire up the river and cook up some crayfish on the coals. Ever since I was little, I've always been drawn to the outback. I remember one of my first videos is I came out to this exact place. I'll see if I can find some old clips of it and filmed a bit of a documentary thing. I caught a heap of turtles, caught some of these crayfish, and to be here, that would have been eight years ago. And now I'm back out here spending time by myself on this land. It's really special to me. But yeah, I'm gonna head back into town, chuck these crayfish on ice, and then later tonight, we're gonna make a fire, probably go try to find some animals, go on a bit of a night walk and a night drive on these roads, and yeah, cook up some big red claw crayfish. How good's that? So the outback has had lots of rain recently, which is why this area is so green. About a year ago when I came out here, it was so much drier, so much harder to find animals. And a lot of these rivers and floodplains have filled up with water. So the life out here is just thriving and it's awesome to see. Take a look at this big fella just down in front of me right here. And he's coming towards me. Wouldn't want to get whacked all the way out here. But in the next couple weeks, we're going to be dealing with a lot more venomous snakes than this guy right here. Pretty cool though. Just spending time with these animals in the outback. Outback is a place very close to my heart, Western Queensland. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. You're a cool little fella. But yeah, I reckon we're going to keep going. Let this little fella be. We go fire out in the outback as if it wasn't hot enough already so there's the big crayfish right there once this fire dies down into coals it's so hot at the moment we're gonna just chuck them on top been a really cool day adventuring out here in the outback now we got a big feed to finish it off. Now, tomorrow, I'm thinking of heading out to that place that holds the most venomous snake in the world. So really keen for that as well. Just see what happens this trip. And we'll chuck the crayfish on. Now, they still have some nerves in them, but they're completely dead. Three. Where's this one gonna go? Pull you guys back. I'll chuck this one just across that way. I like my crayfish medium rare. really good. I would almost go as far as saying better than the mud crab that we ate the other day. But yeah, pretty cool day, man. I think what we're going to do tonight is go for a bit of a cruise on the road, see what we can find, maybe try to run down some wild pigs after dark. And after dark is when a lot of species of snakes come out on the road as well. So cruise around, see what we can find. And yeah, call it a day. But yeah, I completely destroyed all of those crayfish. <laughs> all right. We 
get into a pretty cool place up here. Absolutely scratching my car off. <laughs> Are you kidding me? About to go for a climb up to the top of that. And what we're looking for is the biggest lizard here in Australia, the Parenti. Never found one before. I know they're out here on this land. There's gonna be a lot of other cool animals up there as well, so we'll go have a look. This is one of those times in my life that I'm just speechless at where I am right now, what I'm doing. I'm up here looking for the biggest lizard in Australia in the most beautiful place. This country is so amazing. And this is where I'm gonna to camp tonight. But I reckon there's a couple big caves just up there. I'm gonna go and see what's inside of them because look at this. This right here is where wallabies have been sitting. Now I reckon I spooked all the ones from this area, but if we go up there, we might be able to find a few. This little fella. See that little rat? There might even be a couple of them sitting in there. That's what these inland taipans are eating. Pretty much their whole diet consists of these long haired rats. Look at that. <laughs> Mate, sweating bullets. Wouldn't have it any other way. And we made it to the top. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is awesome. We are on the edge of the Simpson Desert right now. And this land not only holds big energy about it, but also the most venomous snake in the world, the inland Taipan. 40 degree days out here super harsh environment. Now, don't get me wrong, it's great going to a tropical island and filming a video there in paradise, but there's something about this. I love coming out to the outback and having this experience. Yeah, something I'll remember for a long time. See if I can show you how many flies are on my back right now. So many. Look at this over here. Oh, mate, I thought you were an inland Taipan. Take a look at this fella. Now this guy, is absolutely harmless. Just a little python, non-venomous species. What are you doing, mate? Going between the legs. <laughs> Trying to take cover under his rock. Look at the beautiful colors on him. Right next to this water source. Hey, mate. <laughs> where are you going? He's a fat little snake and he's on a mission. I don't know where he's going, let's follow him. Is that not just the coolest thing ever? When a snake comes up to you, senses you're there, but senses you're not a threat, crawls right over you. down that hole but I think he realizes that he's a bit too big so he's got to come back out so we just pulled up at the campsite for tonight and take a look at it I just ran up here I am so keen to camp here this is probably the coolest place I've ever camped red dirt take a look at this everywhere in the sand on this little red sand dune is animal tracks. And down in there, 
in that little basin. I'm gonna make a fire, set up camp, get all my cameras and torches ready, and then go for a night walk when it gets dark. Let's set up the swag. I've really had to myself here. This is camp for tonight. We're gonna get the fire going soon. Watch the sunset, chill here. Maybe go for a night walk after dark. See what's hanging around these sand dunes. All right, here we go. All this stuff out here in the desert is so dry. Catches so easy. Mate, someone call Barry. Honestly, the most beautiful sunset I have ever seen, especially in a place like this, just sitting around the fire. It's been such a cool day. Such a cool trip out to the outback, actually. Really grateful that I can come out here. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do now is maybe go out and try to find some more snakes. Not a bad place to be, mate. Oh, this is awesome. And then yeah, we'll go out for a drive and see what we can find. Hopefully a Woma python. Have a go at this little fella right here. So we're just going on a bit of a night drive and this right here is a king brown snake. Are you kidding me, that's awesome. Look at him. Just a little fella cruising around on the road. All right, let's keep hunting for that woma. Now this guy is a highly venomous species of snake. Would not want to get bitten by him out here. Is that a pale headed snake? So many different species out cruising the roads tonight. That is absolutely awesome. Take a look at him. That's so cool finding him on the road. We're gonna keep driving, see what else we can find. All right, everyone, and we're back on the sunny coast again. It feels good to be in the rainforest in a creek system after going out west. It was such a cool trip out there. Found so many cool species, and there are a couple species that I have to go back and find now, like the Woma python and like an inland taipan again. But yeah, it's cool to be back here on the sunny coast. We're gonna keep the videos rolling, new videos every week, so stay tuned for that. I really hope you enjoyed this adventure. And yeah, thank you so much for coming along for it. See you guys next week in the next one. Cheers.